Hello everyone. Today we are going to read Gum Gum Ghadiyal's Glorious Adventure. The author is Aparna Kapoor. The illustrator is Roche and the publisher is Pratham Books. So let's read Gum Gum Ghadiyal's Glorious Adventure. So what is a ghadiyal? A ghadiyal is an animal that is like a crocodile that has a long thin nose with a round part at the end of it. You can see here, the round part looks like a clay pot, which is called a ghada in Hindi. From this comes the Hindi name ghadiyal for this animal, though in English it is written as G H A R I A L. So, this particular Gadial, her name is Gungum, and it sounds like she had a glorious adventure, a wonderful adventure. Let's see what that is. Gungum was excited. She was going for her first swim. Rap, growl, said her family, who were excited too. So here you can see this is Gum Gum. She's sitting on the back of what I think is her father. And this is her family. See all of these ghadiyals and they are excited. Why? Because this is Gum Gum's first time swimming. And so they're all excited. Gum Gum's snout touched the water and whoosh! The river rushed all around her. Gum Gum paddled her feet and swished her tail. Look, Papa, I'm swimming. Look! She was so excited. This is Gum Gum and her snout, her nose touched the water and whoosh, off she goes. And the river just, all the water started flowing around her. The river rushed around her and Gum Gum was paddling her feet to swim and swishing her tail back and forth. And that's how Gadiyals swim. And she told her father, look, I'm swimming. Look, look. She was so excited. Papa, Gum Gum looked in front and looked behind. She looked to the right and then to the left. Papa, she was alone. Her family had swum off without her. So what happened? Gum Gum was so excited and she was swimming. She was swimming so fast. She was so excited. She didn't look around her until after some time. And when she looked, her family was gone. Where did they go? She was looking all around and she didn't see them anymore. Oh no, she's alone. So what happens now? Let's see. An otter floated past. Have you seen my family, Mr. Otter? Asked Gum Gum. No, but I have seen a lot of stars, said the otter. Would you like to see some? Maybe next time. Thanks, said Gum Gum. So here is an otter. An otter is a type of animal that lives near water. Either it's the river or the sea. There are different types of otters. And this is the river and this is a river otter. And he is floating on his back on the river. He's just hanging out, having fun floating. He's reading his book. And Gum Gum asked him, Hey, Mr. Otter, did you see my family? And the otter says, no, but I've seen a lot of 
stars. So it looks like it's dark and there are a lot of stars in the sky. And the otter offers to Gungum to show her some. And Gungum is worried about her family. So she says, next time. And she says, thank you. And she keeps swimming. Just then, rough trap. It was her family. Gungum giggled happily and swam towards the sound. So what happened? Gungum heard these sounds from her family and she got excited. She was giggling, <laughs> laughing happily and swimming towards the sound to find her family. Suddenly, a dolphin leapt up in front of her. Do you know where my family is, Miss Dolphin? Asked Gum Gum. No, but I do know where the yummiest fish are, said the dolphin. Would you like to eat one? Maybe next time. Thanks, said Gum Gum. So when Gum Gum keeps swimming, who does she see next? She sees a dolphin. A dolphin is a type of animal that lives in the water like fish, but it is not the same as a fish. It needs to breathe air through its nose like you and me. And so a dolphin is a little different. Every one, now and then the dolphin has to come out of the water to be able to breathe. And this dolphin is having fun here. She's coming out, she's jumping, splashing. And she says, I haven't seen the family, but I know where the most tasty fish are. And she offers to take Gum Gum to go eat fish. And Gum Gum says, not this time, maybe next time. And she thanks the dolphin and keeps swimming. Just then, drf, crap. it was her family. Gum Gum giggled happily and swam towards the sound. So again, Gum Gum hears her family and she starts giggling. She's happy and she starts swimming towards that sound. A snail lay on a rock by the river bank. Can you help me find my family, sister snail? Asked Gum Gum. I can help you find a nice flat rock to sit on if you want, said the snail. Maybe next time. Thanks said Gum Gum. So what did Gum Gum find when she kept swimming? She found a snail. A snail is a type of animal that has this big shell and the snail can curl its body inside the shell fully. So when the snail wants to sleep or when the snail is scared and he wants to hide, she wants to hide, she just curls up her body into back into the shell and she can be safe because the shell is hard and whatever animal is trying to eat her, they can't break the shell to eat her. And snails usually they are sitting on some rock or some plant or some, some place where they can just sit and relax. They are not very fast movers. And so this snail offers to Gum Gum that she will find her a nice flat rock to sit on. But Gum Gum says next time, okay? And she thanks the snail and keeps swimming. Just then, it was her family. Gum Gum giggled happily 
and swam towards the sound. So then what happens? Again, Gum Gum hears her family's sounds and she's again happy and she is swimming fast towards the sound. What does she see this time? Gum Gum saw a big old ghadiyal. Many little ghadiyals swam around him. Have you seen my family, Grandpa Ghadiyal? Gum Gum asked. So what happened? Gum Gum still did not see her family, but she saw a big old ghadiyal and lots of little ghadiyals swimming around him. Let's see. See here, this is the big old Grandpa Ghadiyal and here is Gum Gum and there are all these little ones swimming around him. And so what does she do? Is your name Gum Gum? Asked the old Ghadiyal. Yes, I'm Gum Gum, she said. Then I have seen your family. They've been looking everywhere for you, little one. Listen, there, down the river. Can you hear them? So, Gum Gum had asked the Ghadiyal, if he had seen her family and the old Ghadiyal said, yes. And it's because your name is Gum Gum, looks like her family has been searching all over for her. And they have passed this grandpa Ghadiyal and said, our daughter is Gum Gum and she's lost. And so the grandpa Ghadiyal recognizes her name and says, your family is there down the river and they are looking for you. And can you hear them? And she, uh, he asks her to listen for her family. So here you can see Gum Gum is sitting on the tip of Grandpa Ghadiyal's nose and she's looking and she's listening. Where's my family? Gum Gum listened. All the other little Ghadiyals listened too. Just then, from up the river, Grap, Gum, Graf, Gum, Gum, Gum. It was her family and they weren't very far off. Gum Gum giggled and swam towards the sound. So as Gum Gum is listening, she hears her family and they're also calling her name, it sounds like. Gum Gum. And so she's very happy and they're very close. The sound is coming from nearby. So she swims towards the sound. Soon, Gum Gum reached a sand bank. She crawled onto it, tired from all her swimming. Gum Gum said a voice, Papa. So Gum Gum has been swimming so long. This is her first time swimming too. So she's tired. And when she sees the sand bank, that is the edge of the river where there is sand, she was so tired, she just pulls herself up onto the bank. She crawls onto it. And at that time, she hears a voice saying her name. And she's so tired, but she says, is that my da dad? Is that Papa? A large dark shape came towards her. Papa! Papa bent down and lovingly nudged Gum Gum. Welcome home, Gum Gum, said Papa. Where did you go off to? I went on a glorious adventure, said Gum Gum, giggling. And tomorrow, I want to go again. 
so what happened gumgum's papa finally found her and he bends down and he nudges gumgum hey where did you go and gumgum says that she went on a glorious adventure a fantastic adventure and she had so much fun and she wants to go again tomorrow so here are gumgum and her papa they are finally together again gumgum lives by the great river ganga with her big noisy family of ghadiyals she goes swimming every day to catch insects and fish for her lunch gumgum meets all kinds of creatures on her daily swims dolphins otters snails water birds fishermen in boats buffaloes snakes and many others so gumgum the ghadiyal lives by the river ganga she lives next to the river and she goes swimming in the river ganga every day and when she is swimming she catches insects and fish to eat for lunch and she meets different types of creatures on her swim she meets dolphins otters snails water birds fishermen in boats buffaloes snakes and many others i hope you like the story thank you the difficult words in this story are glorious wonderful snout nose usually of an animal giggle to laugh paddle to move hands and feet up and down to swim crawl to move slowly with your body close to the ground ghadiyal an animal that is like a crocodile that has a long thin nose with a round part at the end of it otter an animal that lives near water and eats fish and small animals and can swim dolphin a type of animal that lives in the water and looks like a fish but needs to breathe air through its nose like people snail a type of animal with a hard shell that is large enough for the snail to go into completely different types of snails live on land or in river water try these questions which of gumgum's friends is your favorite write down why you like it how many of gumgum's river friends can you spot in this page and the next so in this picture write down which of these creatures did you see dolphins otters snails water birds fishermen in boats buffaloes snakes and many others so see how many of these can you see in this picture and write them down and also in this picture 